What's up again and welcome to the next lesson in our unit on the laws of exponents. So let's target our thinking by asking the question, how can we multiply powers with the same base? Okay, so what does that mean? For example, what if we wanted to multiply 3 to the second power by 3 to the third power? Both of these have the same base, which is 3. So with this in mind, let's go ahead and try and simplify this. Let's start off by rewriting each term in a broken down form, as in 3 to the second power is 3 times 3, and 3 to the third power is 3 times 3 times 3. And again, we're multiplying each of these two things together. Okay, now notice here down below that we have 3 being multiplied by itself 5 times. Another way of saying this is 3 to the 5th power, or 3 to the power of 5. Now the question is, how did we use those exponents of 2 and 3 with the same base and end up with a 5 exponent in our simplified answer? You may have noticed that 5 is equal to the sum of 2 and 3. And this turns out to be one of the laws of exponents which says that whenever you multiply two or more exponents with the same base, so for instance, some value x raised to the power of a times the same value x raised to the power of b, the rule is that you take those two exponents and you add them together, which we broke down in that first example. <laughs> And now we can apply that law to one final example. Instead of variables as exponents, let's replace them with real numbers. If we had something like x to the fifth times x to the seventh, again, since the bases are the same, we can simplify this by adding the two exponents, 5 plus 7. which results in a simplified answer of x to the 12th. So in conclusion, whenever multiplying two or more exponents with the same base, you just add them up and you're good. <laughs> cool. So thank you again for visually exploring this concept with us, and please feel free to check out our other lessons on the other laws of exponents. We'll see you next time. Thanks guys for checking out that lesson and go ahead and follow us on Instagram at mashupmath. It's a pretty cool Instagram account, I promise you. Take a look.